Hey guys, it's Tamara Cinnamon with TheInfiniteGree.com and today I want to talk about learning without ever earning and I'm not just talking about money and I'm talking about the freedom that comes when you decide you can earn without needing to learn. And so, yes, in a business sense um, or an entrepreneur sense, maybe you go to a conference, maybe you go to a new seminar and you learn all this great stuff. How many of you come home and you actually do nothing with it? Maybe exhaustion hits. Maybe fear hits, you know, anything that hits. That's in a business sense. But what about uh, weight loss? How many times do you one night say, that's it, I am done with this. And you do all the research on what's going to be the best, fastest, whatever it is, most efficient way for you to have long-term weight loss. And the next morning, some sabotage comes up and you don't do it. Uh, maybe it's a relationship. You look into the five uh, languages of love, or you look into the newest relationship book, or you go to uh, match.com and you just really research how you can have a long lasting relationship. And then you don't do it. So you learn, but you never get to earn. Maybe it's an adventure, maybe you plan out all of your trips that you wanna go on, and then you never take the step to save or book the trip or make it happen. What's fun is that the opposite could be. When you can train your brain to say, you know what, I don't need the learning. I can just earn, you can create a whole different way in your life. But it's finding out why you do these things. So number one, for a lot of people and a lot of my clients, it's fear. And so let's say it's weight loss. What's the underlying fear that when you get up, when you say you're gonna do something and then you teach your brain you're not going to because you don't take action, what's that underlying fear? Lots of times people have a fear about, um, you know, what would people say about me if I was in the best shape of my life? Or how would my eating habits have to change permanently? Spoiler alert, they don't have to. <laughs> um, it's all belief systems. But they would have to change permanently. And I don't want to do that. Maybe it's a relationship. Maybe there's some deserving issues. And so we don't do it because the underlying fear becomes, who am I to have a great relationship? Or, you know, maybe my business is booming. Where would I have the time? This is just sabotage. Um, in your own business. So the fear can be again, what if I became a huge leader and everybody relied on me? It doesn't have to be that way, but that becomes the underlying fear. Um, so that's one side is fear. But the whole other side is that again, sometimes you're in the wrong friggin' lane. Maybe you're in a business that you want the money, you want the fame, you want whatever it is that you think you're going to get out of the business, but you actually don't like the business. So you're not taking the path of least resistance. You get excited about an outcome, but the everyday action of it, you actually don't like. You're in the wrong lane. Um, weight loss. Maybe it's that you love the idea of being in shape, so you don't have an underlying fear, but you don't want to go to CrossFit. You're a yoga person. So again, what is the path of least resistance to your goal? Um, a relationship. Maybe you're the kind of person that likes to be with somebody, but you don't want to, you're not at a place for tie down right now, but you're research, researching, you're attracting, you're going after people that are looking for their soulmate for the rest of their life or vice versa. So number one, is it a fear? And if it's just a fear, my friend Susie, and I'll tell you in this, she always says, uh, what, give fear a suck it sandwich. <laughs> I love that, right? If it's fear, face that. And again, is it a fear you can deal with or is it subconscious? Conscious? And if you, if it is, let me know. We got to work on that because we can rip that out really quickly and put back in a belief that's very supportive to what you want if you're on the path to what you want. If it's number two and you're on the wrong friggin' lane, you got to move over. You got to find the new and you've got to follow your passion. Because when you find something that excites you, when you find something that is aligned with what you should be doing in any area of your life, you bounce out of bed. The laziness, the procrastination, the fear, they're just not there. People will say to me, how, how, how many hours do you work a day? When I am aligned with what I should be doing, when I'm coaching, when I'm mentoring, when I'm helping people with effective change and seeing the results in their life, I have no idea because it's not work. Work, who I am, my balance is all of the same thing because that's who me as a person grows to be. So is it fear? And if it is, feed it a suck it sandwich, figure that out. If you need help with your subconscious beliefs, we need to talk about that. Uh, and number two, if you're on the wrong friggin' lane, you need to jump over, move over on the freeway and figure it out what it is you love. Because I guarantee when you find what it is you love, that's when the money follows. That's when the relationships follow. That's when your best health ever follows. That's when the bucket list starts coming up. Because you know what? Money, relationships, weight, family, all of those things, they don't follow greed, they don't follow fear, and they don't follow 
when you're off in the wrong lane. They follow the path of least resistance. So if you're coming up against those things saying, why are they not happening? You're in the wrong lane. You're not following your path of least resistance. They ne never follow fear. So I hope this helped. This is all about moving towards your best life because change can happen like that. It happens in an instant once you make the decision to get rid of the ineffective beliefs in your life and move forward. So I hope you're having a fantastic day and I hope this helps.